Hi everyone, this is part two of that message that I just put out there. If this reading resonates with you, I'm pretty sure that one will as well. You don't necessarily have to watch both of them, but you know, this is the same energy group. It is, it is channeled from the same dream. I just ended up channeling a lot of other additional details in that last video. And so I wanted to come on here and make a separate video with what I originally was intending to mostly focus on, which is this person's psychic abilities. So just to recap really, really quick, in that last video, I was getting that this is going to be, uh, this new person that's coming in, it's going to be very healing for both of you. You're both very strong and independent. You both have a lot of people that rely on you or look up to you. Maybe you're in leadership positions. And I feel like there's just going to be this mutual healing between the two of you. And you're going to help each other heal in very natural ways. Um, I feel like this person is going to be almost shocked at, it's like you're going to be mysterious to them because they're not going to understand why they feel so safe and so comfortable with you early on. It's soul recognition, but they might not understand what soul recognition is. So they're going to be looking into you almost to the point of interrogating you where it's, it's like they just want to know everything about you. They're going to be baffled. They're going to be thrown off because they're used to being in situations where they have to be a leader, where they have to be in control. And they're just going to feel so calm around you. And they're, they're going to wonder, they're like, what is it about her? Or what is it about him that makes me feel this way? Why do I feel so calm? Why does this, it feels so natural. It feels so comfortable. I'm letting my guard down. It usually doesn't happen that way. It's almost going to throw them off a little bit. Um, and we ended up going into that message, but originally what I wanted to look into uh, more than anything was this person's psychic abilities. I feel like this new love that's coming in for you is actually a psychic. Um, but I don't, I don't know if they're aware of it. We're going to look into it because, okay, so with that other video I did, I had this dream that last night I had this dream and I could tell it was channeled. And in the dream, I was helping this man heal uh, cause it's, it's like he was able to relax around me. He was able, he, he was telling me he had insomnia and that he can never fall asleep anymore. Or he just has a hard time falling asleep these days. It's like, he's really in his head. And he said that it started when he had a dream that his girlfriend cheated on him. So, and I feel like that might've been something that actually happened. That might be actual, you know, literally happened for a lot of you. Or I feel like this person just, it's like they channeled a betrayal or they had some kind of heartbreak, maybe cheating that happened with someone. And they either, they found out about it either through intuition. Um, I mean, it could have been through a dream. It could have been channeled. They could have just known. And I feel like maybe they shut out their intuition a little bit after that. I feel like they're a little bit, it's like this person is psychic, but it freaks them out and they don't understand it. But they do have very strong psychic abilities. I feel like maybe some of them might have even wondered if they manifested that. Like maybe they thought their imagination was too strong and they kind of, it's like they kind of got scared off. But that's what I wanted to to, to finish looking into is, because in the other video, we went more into the the part of the, of the dream where I was talking about how this person, you know, had insomnia and they were surprised that, you know, being around me in the dream, it was like, it was very healing. They were very relaxed. They, this person was able this person might not be able to fall asleep easily or around most people. And I think around you, they're going to be able to easily fall asleep or they're just going to feel this kind of safety and this comfort that they're not used to feeling, but in a very positive way. So let's get into the, the rest of the messages here. Sorry, that was kind of a long recap, but, but yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Tell me about this new person's psychic abilities. Thief, adjudication, mature man. Imprisonment. Yeah, it's almost like they feel kind of imprisoned by their psychic abil abilities. Poverty. Or they try to rationalize them. Yeah, because they found out about an ending. They found out in the past. They channeled it. They dreamed it. They psychically, because I am getting that they found out through psychic means. Like, I don't think this was just someone told them. 
I think they knew like they they it's like they just felt it like they might have gotten a phone call from this person ending the relationship and they just knew like they had a bad feeling all day that day or they had a dream that this person was cheating or they just they felt it like the energy and I feel like this man or this woman is very intelligent and I feel like they do study psychology and so I feel like they tried to rationalize it they're like well maybe it was the body language or the tone of voice maybe something shifted but it's a, it's like no this person is psychic they just don't want to let me see change official person bad health child they might because they're an official person because they have so many people looking up to them they might be afraid of getting too in touch with their intuition. They might be afraid of kind of going off the deep end or maybe like, let's, let's say that for example, that they're a CEO, they might be afraid that people aren't going to take them as seriously if they talk about, you know, psychic things or spirituality. But it's like this person, I don't know, this person is some kind of healer or some kind of prophet. There's something here where I feel like maybe even at an early age, this person was like, it's like the chosen one kind of energy that I'm picking up here, honestly. Um, it's like you guys match each other's energy. You're, you're both you're both psychics and or healers as well. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person's psychic ability. So this new person that you're manifesting. I feel like they could even be picking up on you spiritually. You guys might be picking up on each other, like having dreams or just feeling each other's energy. But I don't know if they, I don't know if they necessarily recognize it as that though. You know what I mean? They might just think, oh, I'm lonely. I'm fantasizing. Like they don't necessarily know. They might not necessarily know what it is. So let me, let me look into this. Um, tell me more about... We're going to look into their psychic abilities and then what made them shut their psychic abilities out. We're going to get more details on that. So tell me more about this person's psychic abilities. Tell me more. Is this person psychic? Are they consciously psychic? Tell me about this. Ten of cups, nine of cups. Five of wands. Three of swords. Queen of Cups. Tell me more about the get bear with me, guys. This is a difficult question to ask the cards, so it requires more channeling than card reading, actually. Five of Wands and Three of Swords. Tell me about this. Two of Cups. Page of Wands, Four of Swords, Page of Cups, Five of Cups, Four of Cups. Okay, let me see. The Five of Cups and the Four of Cups. It's kind of like they're channeling you, but they think that you're too good to be true. The energy I get, it's, it's almost like this person is channeling your traits. They're picking up, I think you guys are picking up on each other energetically. And it's almost like they're they're channeling certain traits about you. And they're, I think they're interpreting it as, um, God, does this person know it's psychic? Just Sorry, bear with me, guys. Does this person know it's psychic? The Hierophant, the Six of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the King of Cups, the King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they do have some sense that it's psychic, but they're like going back and forth in their head about it. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing. Here's what I'm seeing. I feel like they're picking up on your traits. Like they're picking up on certain traits about you. You have very unique personality traits, whether you're male or female. Um, you have very... 
it's like you're very similar to them in a lot of ways. You guys really match each other. Like you're both leaders. You're both intuitive. You you're both you both have healing abilities. You both um, maybe even have similar perspectives. Or it's like even if you do have different perspectives, it's like it's gonna <clears throat> sorry. It's like you're gonna balance each other out. And so I just feel like they're having. Maybe they've even had like a dream where they've they've seen you or they've gotten a glimpse of what you might look like or they um maybe they've seen you from a distance somehow or it's like I feel like they've they've channeled certain personality traits about you like they've channeled your spirituality they've channeled uh there's something about you I see like something um god what is this because I, I saw them like laugh but it was almost like in a a playful cute way like there's something about you that's and it's going to turn them on sexually. Like there's something about you where it's like you have a, you're very outspoken or you're very feisty or there's just something really unique about you that's, um, that they don't see often and it's going to really surprise them. Maybe, maybe especially with them being in a leadership role, maybe you're not, you're a leader too. So you're not going to back down easily. You're not going to be afraid to, to talk shit playfully to this person. You're not going to be afraid to put them in their place. Um, there's something about that. It's kind of like this chuckle I get from this person is like, wow, like he or she had the audacity to say that to me. No one ever does that, but it's going to turn them on. It's going to, they're going to be like, wow, that's unique. People usually don't talk to me like that. You know, people might usually be intimidated by this person, but you're not going to be intimidated by them. And they're going it, to, it's going to intrigue them. It's going to turn them on a bit. But yeah, it's like they're picking up on your personality traits, but I feel like they're fighting themselves on it. It's like they don't. How do I explain this energy? It's like they're psychic and some part of them does know that they're psychic, but they don't, they don't understand it fully. I feel like they're in denial. I feel like they know that they're psychic deep down, but I feel like it doesn't work in their life. Like I said, I think they're like a CEO or they're a manager. They're in some kind of position and they're, they don't want to lose themselves. They don't want to, um, they have like a deep spiritual side and I feel like maybe they're even into that stuff, but it's like low key. You know what I mean? Like they might go to, they might go to stone and crystal shops and things like that. Like they're drawn to that, uh, when they're by themselves, but they might pretend like they're not into it. And I feel like this person is genuine, so it's not like them to fake it, but I feel like it's more of like one of these things where they don't, they want it to just be theirs or they want to have control over it, I guess. Oops, sorry guys. They want to have control over it. They don't want to lose themselves in that spirituality. I, th I think, yeah, I think that, I guess that makes sense if they're like in a leadership position because they know if they, if they, this person is passionate. So if they dive too deep into it, I feel like they're worried that people are going to think that they've gone crazy or they're not going to understand it. Um, Cause I just get the sense it's like they're spiritual, but they want it to just be theirs. They want it. It's like, they're very protective of their practice or their spirituality. This could even be someone who's a witch or someone who's into manifestation in some form, but maybe they don't want to, um, I suppose another way, another reason they might not want to come forward with it is that maybe they use it to their advantage in business. And so they don't want their, their secrets known. They don't want their practices known. It's like, and, and there are some closet witches that are like that, which makes sense. I mean, I'm, I'm a witch and I'm very forward about it, but I can also understand the appeal of someone, you know, being a witch and kind of keeping it to themselves because it's like, you can manifest a lot that way and no one, no one suspects it. No one knows, you know what I mean? Like no one suspects that you're doing magic or that you're, you're manifesting that way. So it might be one of those situations where it's like, this person just is very, uh, it's like their practice is very sacred to them because I just get a secret of energy, but for others, it's, it's more like they're secretive about it because they, they don't understand it fully. Um, and again, they don't want people to look at them a certain way. If they're in a leadership position, they don't want to, um, they don't want to go overboard. So they might present themselves as someone who's open-minded spiritually to the people around them, but they, they don't, uh, they don't get too deep into, uh, you know, the occult or spirituality, psychic work, that kind of thing. I feel like I want to look more into it because it feels like they don't. How do I explain this energy? 
I appreciate you guys just bearing with me as I as I ramble. I know sometimes when I channel, it's like it just comes through and it's just it's all over the place, um, especially when I'm not grounded. I need to go out and ground for sure soon. Um, I do appreciate your your likes, your comments, uh, subscribing if this resonates with you. I really appreciate the support and I love hearing your stories. So thank you guys for commenting and uh, supporting the channel. But anyway, yeah, it's it's like this energy that I get, it's almost like they, I don't know how to explain it. It's like they know they're psychic, but they don't know they're psychic. It's like they, some part of them knows, like they might have intuitive dreams and they're like, okay, that can't really just be a coincidence that I, I had, they might even have dreams about their business. Like they might have dreams about their employees. I feel like this person, because I'm seeing a, a significant dream. This might not be for everyone, but for some, they had a significant dream about work or about one of their employees. Like they might get some of their business models or their creative ideas through the dream state. And I feel like it, it's like they don't fully understand it like some part of them understands that it's psychic but another part of them is like well maybe this is because I study psychology or I'm just intelligent I'm creative like some part of them doesn't under understand that it's like psychic but anyway let's get into it so yeah I feel like they're they're picking up on your personality traits like I was saying and I feel like they feel like you're a dream come true a wish fulfillment but then it's like they block themselves from it it's like they break their own heart a little bit because they're like it's like they try to rationalize it. They pick up on you and they kind of start entertaining the idea that, hey, maybe this is psychic. Maybe I am channeling something here. And then, then it's like they fight themselves on it. They block themselves. It's like they're juggling between these two different ways of viewing their psychic abilities. Because on one hand, they're like, well, maybe I'm lonely. Maybe that's why I'm feeling this. I'm just, it's wishful thinking. But then another part of them is like, well, I have had psychic visions before. So I wonder if this is, if this is that, you know, I wonder if this is, if this is actually me channeling somebody. It's like they make themselves sad for no reason. It's like they make themselves, it's, it's like they make themselves sad. Or they think it's too good to be true because they're picking up on your traits and you're very unique and you're very different. And so I feel like when they channel your traits, they're like, well, there's no way someone's that perfect or there's no way that I'm going to meet someone who's that creative and intelligent and, and, you know, so similar to me. This must be wishful thinking. I don't know how this could be real. Tell me more about, um, tell me more about this person's psychic abilities. Are they... Are they consciously psychic? Tell me more about that. Are they consciously psychic? Hmm. Yeah, they just, they keep, they're going back and forth. I feel like it's like they're almost in a dream state too. I feel like this person feels very alone around the people that they're with because I get a very sad energy from this spread. So I almost feel like this person might have dreams about you. And I feel like you're coming up as the queen of wands. Even if you're a man, you're coming up as the queen of wands. You're coming up as someone who's very um, passionate and outspoken and free spirited and fiery and very attractive, very physically attractive as well to this person. And so I feel like maybe they have these dreams. They might even be astral traveling. You guys might even be like spiritually connecting in that way. Um, and so I think they wake up from these really romantic dreams. You know, you ever have those dreams where it's like you just don't want to wake up? It's like your alarm clock goes off, but you're like, no, I felt at home. I felt happy. I felt I want to go back to my dreams. It's like, I feel it's like that. It's like this person... Even though they haven't met you for most of you. Um, and I am curious, have any of you guys met this person yet and had this come to pass yet? Because I know you're all on different stages of this journey. I think most of you have not met this person yet. But I'm really curious, have any of you guys actually met them yet? 
but I feel like, yeah, I feel like they're, they're, it's like they're having dreams about you or visions or it's like they're daydreaming about you. They're daydreaming. It's, it's kind of like they're daydreaming about what their ideal woman or ideal man would be and they're fantasizing about it. Um, but then they don't fully, how do I explain it? Some part of them feels like it might be psychic, but then they, they also feel like maybe they're just lonely, like they're just sad. They just don't have a lot of support in their lives. So they start thinking, you know, maybe I'm just, it, it's like they're daydreaming, but it's actually channeling. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're have, or they're having like actual dreams about you and astral traveling with you. And then they wake up and they're like, I don't know who that was, but I want to go back and see them again in my dreams. Or they're, they're daydreaming about all your, your qualities. But there's this big part of them that just thinks, okay, maybe, maybe I'm just really alone. And so my subconscious mind is coming through and, uh, you know, in the dream state, it's like, I'm, I'm having these dreams about this person I haven't met, um, because I'm, I'm making them up because I'm lonely, you know what I mean? Or I'm daydreaming and I'm, I'm thinking about my ideal person's traits because of loneliness. It's like, they don't fully understand that it's psychic. Hold on. So we get that part, but in general, tell me, not just in, in regards to this relationship, in general, show me, is this person psychic? Or I mean, they are psychic, but show me how aware they are of their psychic abilities. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Eight of Cups. They're psychic, but it's hidden. It's hidden. They saw it. Here, hold on. I feel like this person might even have a little bit of a third eye block. Like they're, I don't know if block is the right word. Because they're very psychic. This is a very old soul. But I feel like they're... They saw something they didn't want to see. It could be a trauma even. But for others, I feel like for most of them, it was like they channeled something that they didn't want to channel. Because I feel like in the past, they were probably more open to their psychic abilities. And I think they might have even recognized it as psychic, even if they didn't talk about it. I so Something in this person's childhood. I feel like in this person's childhood, it's like they had... Um, God, what is this? It's like they could talk to spirits or something. They have some kind of special, it's going to be different for everybody, but it's like this person has some kind of spiritual gift. Um, I'm hearing, I don't even know what it is. I think I've read about it years ago, but I'm hearing like a, a Hioka empath. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I'm also getting something about talking to spirits. Like, are they, they get dreams or something. It's like they had something in childhood that, that happened and maybe they freaked out about it. Show me, show me what happened to, to make this person not trust their psychic abilities. It almost feels like this person, hold on. Does this person know that psychic abilities are real, that psychic work is real? I'm getting a probably, so there's a small part of them that sometimes tries to rationalize, like maybe this is my mind, maybe this is... You know, maybe it's just because I study, but I, th I think the majority of this person, like I think 80 to 90% of them knows that the psychic world is real. Like they've experienced enough to know it's real. Um, so it's almost like they're in denial, but they are, they know that they're in denial. Does that make sense? It's, it's like, it's like they know it's real, but they, they tell themselves like, well, maybe it's not because they, they have to kind they feel like they have to, to kind of keep themselves in check. Um, and again, they might have, they might be such a powerful like healer or psychic that they don't want to go off the deep end. They might be afraid that if they go back to that, that they're going to have similar dreams or visions like they did when they were younger, um, or that they're going to start talking to spirits again. And they're like, well, I'm a manager. I'm a CEO now. I can't be in that position. Like, I don't want people thinking I'm crazy. Um, I feel like. How do I explain the third eye block? It's not even, I don't know if it's fully a block, really. It's its almost like a, 
it's almost like a self-imposed block in a sense, but it's not really blocked. It's like they can remove it at any, at any time. I feel like it's, um, it's like they know this stuff is real, but they're, how do I explain? Well, I guess just what we were talking about, it's, it's like they're afraid of, of going off the deep end. Or they they picked up, again, we, we got in that dream, I was like picking up that, you know, cheating, or they saw something they really didn't want to see. They, they found out something they didn't want to know about. And I feel like it's almost made them afraid. It's like something made them afraid of their psychic abilities. Even though they believe in them deep down, something made them afraid of their power or afraid of being psychic. Tell me what this was that blocked them from their psychic abilities. The Emperor, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands. Again, I think more than anything, I think a big part of it is their position as an Emperor. Having these people look up to them, they have to be stable and grounded and balanced. This person's very passionate and emotional and romantic, but I feel like they really keep that side of themselves hidden. Like they really keep that side of themselves in check. The world, six of wands. <laughs> what this person doesn't know is you're going to shake everything up for them. Yeah, you're going to shake. You're the empress and you're the queen of wands, male or female. You're going to shake everything up. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to be a tower woman in this person's life. You're going to get this person back in touch. Just your presence, just your powerful energy is going to get this person back in touch with their with their emotions, with their romantic side, and with their psychic abilities as well. They might even have to study. They might have to seek something out and actually study. Hold on. They're not going to be able to fight it. I think you're going to trigger a psychic awakening for this person almost. Especially if you're psychic yourself. I just feel like being around them, it's like you're not going to... They're not going to be able to hide it from you. You know what I mean? Like you're going to recognize them, whether it's through something they say or just through their energy. You're going to recognize somehow. It's going to be revealed to you somehow that they are a psychic. You know? It's, it, for, it's going to come in different forms. You know, like I said, for some, it's going to be a conversation um, where you start talking about spirituality and they kind of start, you know, opening up about it a little bit. And then before they know it, they're saying more than they wanted to say. For others, it's just going to be like you just kind of know, like you can feel their energy. It's something in their eyes like you can just or maybe you can you, it, it, maybe their body language. It's like you just have this sense of this person's psychic. You can just kind of tell by the way that they move or the way that they feel to you. Um, so this person does. I feel I feel like they do believe in in psychic, and you know because they are they are psychic. So they do believe in this stuff. Tell me more about this really quick. Let's get more into this. What do we need to know about this is actually what I should ask. Or let me see if I can. I'm going to try to channel. Hold on. Give me a sec. I think they might because I was trying to think about it. I was like, why? Okay, so if this person did channel because they used to be more psychically open and they did channel something bad happening and it happened. Um, and some part of them are some part of them might be worried that they manifested that, but I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like they were just shown what was going to happen either way, like it was inevitable. But it's like this person picked up on some kind of betrayal or some kind of loss, some kind of heartbreak. I almost feel like it's an association they have now. Because I was baffled. I was like, well, that's a good thing that they picked it up, that they found out about it. You know, that's what your intuition is there for. It's not always good. Sometimes you do channel, you know, when someone is cheating and you need to know, you know, and that's, that's, it's not, it's not a bad thing. I was like, why did they shut their ability out because of that? But, but yeah, I feel like it's like the association, like they associate it with, tell me about it. They associate it with heartbreak now or what?
Yeah, because it was such a tower moment for them. I feel like it was also a... Um, how do I explain this? I feel like this person might have even... Okay, let me try to explain this. So spirits can channel through other people. They can almost use people as vessels in a sense. Like they can they can channel through other people. And so I almost feel like this person was picking up on your energy or picking up on somebody else's energy that was very loving, very kind, very loyal, like a very good person. And this spirit might have been coming through this person that they were dating. Or they might have just, even if the spirit wasn't coming through, if it wasn't your spirit coming through, it could have just been them picking up on your energy. They they were picking up on that energy because I feel like there was some kind of form of pro projection here where this person saw traits in the person that they were dating that weren't actually there. Does that make sense? Like they were channeling someone else or they were picking up on somebody else's traits psychically. And they might have just assumed that it was coming from this person. Like they might have been channeling you and maybe before they found you, they met somebody else instead. And they thought that that was the person they were channeling that they were picking up on. And it wasn't. It was just someone that kind of blocked or intervened. Um, and, and so I feel like this person, it's almost like they're kind of in like a little bit of a fantasy. Like they're not seeing, they weren't seeing things clearly. And, and so I feel like, like, okay, so it, how do I explain this? I hope I'm making sense. I'm sorry. I know I'm rambling. I'm just, I'm channeling and I'm trying to bring it down and, and explain it clearly. That's going to make sense to you guys. Um, so yeah, it's, it's like they were channeling this other, they were channeling you or they were channeling, it could have even been someone else that they were going to meet. They were just, they were channeling this very high vibrational loving person. And they assumed that it was this toxic person, not, not necessarily super toxic, but just like this very average person that they met. They might've just found them and connected, or there was like a lust, like an attraction. And they're like, oh, this is probably the person I was channeling. This is probably, you know, the person I was picking up on, but they were wrong. Um, and so it's like, they weren't, it's like, it's like they were psychic. They really were channeling somebody, but it just wasn't the person they thought it was. And so I feel like down the road, it might not have even been a very long relationship. It might've been very short as well because there was no base for it. It was more just like the illusion. They weren't, you know what I mean? But I feel like at some point this person betrayed them or they just distanced themselves. They just cheated. And I feel like it really confused this person because they're like, wait a minute, like I channeled this was going to be, you know, my life partner. Or it's going to be this or it's going to be that. And it's like, well, they were really channeling that, but they, they got the wrong person is all, you know, all that information they were channeling, the psychic downloads were all real, but they assumed it was this person when it, it was someone else instead, when it was probably you actually could have been you even that they haven't met yet. So they assume this person was, was you, they were channeling you. They assume that this person was, was the person that they've been channeling psychically. So I do feel like they are pretty psychically open, but, but yeah, then this person like cheated on them or betrayed them or just kind of distanced themselves. Like, I feel like this, this woman or this man, I just see them like being kind of busy or kind of distant. Like they kind of started doing their own thing. And I feel like this person felt it, like they felt it psychically. Like they knew, you know, like they knew they were about to get cheated on or they knew they were about to get broken up with. They felt it coming. And I feel like they still haven't sorted through all that. They still haven't figured out like how that happened or what they, they like. They're still a little bit confused about how that all went down because I think some part of them still looks at it like, well, well, damn, like I thought that was the person I was channeling that I was going to meet like my true love. And then it ended like this. So like, how, what can I trust? Like, what is, you know what I mean? Like they, they don't know how to sort through that. And I feel like it's almost made them a little bit, um, it, it's like, they just have a hard time fully trusting their intuition or they, they kind of feel like, it's almost like they associate their intuition with heartbreak now. 
or they might they might even feel like they um were tricked by the universe or they they got They, okay, so some of them might might see it. Some of them might even think like, oh, that was the person I was channeling. Um, and then it just out of nowhere, because it, it's like the tower moment that I see, it just happened out of nowhere. Like this person really felt good about this. Like they really felt good about this person they met. They really felt like things were going great. And it's like very suddenly the illusion lifted and this person kind of distanced themselves from them. This person, you know, again, cheated or broke up on, broke up with them and they felt all of it. They felt the whole, the whole time. I think they were very psychically open in channeling all this and feeling all this. And so I think they're kind of looking at it like, well, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to word it. They're kind of, they're kind of feeling like it was real. Like, like they did channel, like that was the person they channeled. Like their spirit guides were telling them, this is your life partner. This is you know, who you're going to be with. And then just out of nowhere, they were like, they just lost this person just out of nowhere. So they almost feel like they can't open up to their psychic ability because of that. They're like, well, like they don't trust their spirit guides as much. They're like, well, you were telling me this is my life par partner. Um, and then it, it's like, they feel like the universe is too unpredictable for them. You know what I mean? They're like, well, you were telling me this person is my life partner, the one. And then out of nowhere, they cheat on me or out of nowhere, they're just bored with me or they just get over me. Like what the hell? Like they almost, it's almost like they, they don't want to be a psychic anymore. Like they don't, they don't feel the same trust in the universe, but yeah, it was a misunderstanding with their spirit guides. They, they didn't realize what they were channeling. They didn't realize who, who they were channeling. Um, any final messages on this person's psychic abilities? I feel like you're going to help them make sense of this. I feel like you might, um, you're more psychically open than they are. And so I feel like you're going to have a conversation at some point where you're going to help them sort through this and understand this. Maybe you're even going to show them this video, possibly. <laughs> Any final messages on this person's psychic abilities? It's almost like somebody who's, who kind of has this mentality of like, the psychic world is real, witchcraft is real, all of it's real, I know it's real, but I don't trust my spirit guides. I don't trust like, yeah, I know I'm channeling, but I don't trust where I'm being led. Because it's like they feel you coming in. They feel your energy, but then they get in their head about it. And they're like, well, maybe it's wishful thinking or maybe it's going to be the same situation as before. Yeah, they want to be in control of their lives. Again, you're going to shake all of that up for them when you come in. You're going to, whether they like it or not, you're going to get them back in touch with their... Look how quickly you go from like five of pentacles to ten of cups. It's like this is a very quick moving relationship too, I feel. Yeah, you're going to get them back on their spiritual path. This person could be a hierophant. The hierophant keeps coming up. The hierophant is a very powerful uh, religious leader. This person could have been like a shaman in their past lives. So they have some very, they have a very unique healing ability or psychic ability. I keep getting that. There's something that they do. That's very, um, like, it's not just a traditional psychic, you know what I mean? Like, yes, they're psychic, but they have something extra, you know what I mean? Like they have like an extra ability to like, um, uh, like remote viewing or talking to spirits or it, it's like they have, it's, it's a little bit more than just being an average psychic. Yeah, you're going to help them. I feel like you're going to help them get back on this path because you're going to help them understand and have clarity. They're going to be a little bit hesitant and afraid, but I feel like they will eventually have a new perspective on it. Is 
there anything else here? Hold on. I feel like another part of why they don't trust it is because it's like they're looking back and they're thinking because all the qualities that they were channeling that were from you that they thought were in this other person, they ended up not being in that person. So I think that kind of confuses them as well or they're now they're thinking it's like they're still channeling you. But now maybe they're kind of thinking, well, like maybe this is just my ideal woman. Maybe this is just um, like a fantasy. Like this is what I'm looking for because it, it's like the other person didn't end up being those things. So they're like, well, maybe it's it's like, it's like they're very confused. I feel like they go back and forth between like, oh, maybe I'm picking up on someone to like, no, this is just a fantasy. Uh, this is just my loneliness coming through. That might have made them doubt their intuition as well because some of them might feel like, well, maybe I wasn't channeling back then or it's like I maybe I wasn't. It's like they don't they don't know. It, it just like they don't know. They, they, they need some help sorting through it. They need help sorting through something that happened in their life that was very traumatic that has to do with their third eye. Again, I feel like you're going to help them with that. You're going to have a conversation with them about that. Um you're going to lead them spiritually in a lot of ways. You're going to help them get on their path more. And they're going to be equal to you. So like you're a little bit more advanced psychically, spiritually, but deep down they are your equal. They just need to get past that block to kind of catch up to you and to match you. Does that make sense? Because I just feel like they have a very strained relationship with their spirit guides right now. I'm seeing... Um, I, I just feel like they... It's almost like they still get information from their spirit guides. And I feel like they almost know that it's coming from their spirit guides, but it's like they don't, it's like they control it. They don't let it flow as much. You know what I mean? It's like they're very hesitant with their spirit guides. Like they get the information, they psychically channel it, but then they're like, well, I'm going to take it in, into my own hands. I'm going to control this. Like, let's say they have a dream about like an employee or something going on. They're like, like they take it and they analyze it psychologically. It's like they they kind of merge psychology and spirituality, I guess. Tell me, okay, let's get some final mess. Ooh, shit. <laughs> Got the judgment card. Let's get some final messages on how psychically open they are. Yeah, they're just, it's like they're channeling it, but they, they think it's, it's like they dream about you or they feel you, but then they get sad because you're not there physically. And they're like, well, maybe it's, maybe it's loneliness. Maybe it's in my head. Like they have anxiety about it. I feel like it's going to open them up spiritually too when they meet you because they're going to be like, oh, wow, this was a real person I was channeling like this. Like you look the same way you looked in my dreams or you have the same qualities that I was, um, picking up on yeah they're afraid of, of feeling things they don't want to feel psychically they're afraid of they're just yeah you're gonna you're gonna get them in tune with it basically you're gonna get them in tune with their spiritual side again um so remember this when this conversation comes up because they do need your help with that I don't think it's going to be a huge struggle. There is going to be some hesitation on their end, but I don't think they're going to be like fighting you on it. You know what I mean? Like, I think this person is, they like to be in control of themselves, but they are an open-minded person at the same time. So it's not going to be a really long process for them to get to the point where they do match you spiritually. It's just this one little block they have to get past, but I think you're going to work through it together. They might even have things to teach you as well because they have, again, there's some, some kind of special quality that they have psychically that they're going to get back in touch with. And it might be something that you don't have. You know what I mean? Like if they communicate with spirits or they can remote view or something of that sort, something very special, specific, you're going to get them back in touch with that side of themselves and they're going to start developing that gift again and then they're going to be able to teach you about it. So I hope this made sense to you guys. I hope it resonated. I'm going to put this out there. Thank you guys for your support.